I'm the calculus professor and today we'll be talking about U substitution. In problem number 25, we'd like to use substitution to integrate the integral of dx over the square root of 1 minus 9x squared. All right. <clears throat> Uh, as I've told you in some previous problems, what we're usually looking for when we make a u substitution is we're looking for a function within a function. And something does just jump right out at us on this problem, and that is the 1 minus 9x squared. Unfortunately, that's a very bad choice. And the reason why is because, remember, the second thing we're looking for is something where if I take its derivative, the derivative also shows up. And in this case, if I take the derivative of 1 minus 9x squared, I get what? Negative 18x. There's no negative 18x sitting up here anywhere, so we're in trouble. Uh, but what I do see is I say, wait a second, this looks very familiar to me. This looks a lot like uh, a sine inverse, like if I take its antiderivative it's kind of like sine inverse. Usually sine inverse has a 1 minus x squared, but this has a 1 minus 9x squared. So the only difference is that 9. So I should think, okay, how can I make this look more like just a 1 minus, let's say, u squared? And then I could use sine inverse. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to say, is this something squared? And the answer is, yeah, that is something squared. It's a 3x quantity squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a u substitution, and I'm going to u substitute for 3x. If I do, then I get a du, and in this case the du would be 3 dx. Let's look at this guy. I don't have a 3 dx. I just have a dx on top. But I can easily fix that problem. And the way I'm going to fix it is I'm going to put a 3 in up on top, but then I'm also going to multiply on the outside by 1 third. Let me do that real quick. So we'll rewrite this. I'll write this as 1 third integral of 3 dx divided by the square root of 1 minus 9x squared. <coughs> So notice that I multiplied on top by 3, and I multiplied on the bottom by 3. So really, I didn't change anything. I just multiplied this thing by 1. OK, so everything's fine. And now I have my, uh, I have 9x squared right here. But 9x squared is really just u squared. And I have a 3dx on top, which is the same as du. So let's rewrite this guy again. I can rewrite this as 1 third. The integral, the top is 3 dx, but we know that that is the same as du. And on the bottom, I have a square root of 1 minus 9x squared. But 9x squared is just u squared. u squared. So now I have this integral. This one, though, this is exactly in the form for a sine inverse. So the antiderivative of 1 over square root of 1 minus u squared is just sine inverse of u. So I can rewrite this as, let's go over here, this is equal to 1 third of sine inverse of u plus c. So we've taken the antiderivative. The only thing we have left to do is we need to replace the u with x's. And we know that u is equal to 3x. So we can rewrite this as 1 third sine inverse of u, but u is 3x plus our constant. And we found the antiderivative.